This episode is brought to you by Certified Piedmontese Beef. Listen up, foodies. Make your next meal even better with real Nebraska beef. They have healthy, tender, delicious Italian heritage beef, grass-fed and sustainably raised on lush pastures in the Midwest. You can even create your own personally curated meat box that's shipped right to your door. To get two free steaks with any purchase over $50, use the code FREEBEEF at checkout. Learn more and shop exclusively at cpbeef.com. This is Viewpoints Explained. I'm Ebony McMorris. Americans are more hopped up on caffeine than ever. Whether it's coffee or energy drinks, there are endless brands and brews to choose from. Energy drinks in particular have grown in popularity over the last 10 years among adolescents, young adults, and middle-aged adults. Many of these beverages come in a variety of fruity flavors and often build themselves as clean energy. But just how much caffeine lies inside? Bang Energy, which was acquired by Monster Beverage in July, packs 300 milligrams of caffeine into 16 fluid ounces. That one serving equals about three cups of caffeine. Another popular brand, Celsius, offers a special variety called Celsius Heat, which has 300 milligrams of caffeine, but in a smaller 10-ounce serving. The drink is marketed as a great pre-workout option for gym goers. The takeaway? Many of these newer energy products are normalizing a higher caffeine intake to keep consumers hooked. For instance, Red Bull, which has been sold in the U.S. since 1996, only has 111 milligrams of caffeine per 12 ounces. That's much lower than what's in a regular can of Celsius or Prime. For the average adult, the Food and Drug Administration recommends a max amount of 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. Consuming more than this can cause harsh side effects like anxiety, jitters, headaches, and heart palpitations. Currently, there's no formal cap on how much caffeine manufacturers can add into one drink. So, the next time you need a little pick-me-up, make sure to check the label. The caffeine content is usually listed on the side right next to the nutrition info. That's Viewpoints Explained for this week. More in a moment. 